Yeah? yeah? Right? Yes. Yeah. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. I am from a small village in southern part of India. Now I work for Capgemini as a senior consultant. If it was in Drupal, maybe I may end up being like a small uh, shop owner in, in Chennai, you know, or something like that. Uh, if it was in Drupal, I think Drupal changed my life. It is more of a thing that I can't live without. <laughs> Drupal changed the whole lifestyle or how as a man I am. Whatever I'm doing right now is because of Drupal. Definitely it's a game changer, at least, you know, at least for me. I would definitely say that Drupal changed my life and my career. When I started to work as a project manager, I wasn't really sure where it could lead. I'm very lucky that I'm doing what I like. I'm working with Drupal and I like Drupal and I think it's a very good combination. If I ask myself, six years ago, what I wanted to achieve. I maybe wouldn't say it has to be something with Drupal, but I would definitely say that feeling belonging somewhere and enjoying something so much that I would love to continue doing that as long as I can, I, I would definitely say that. And to help the lives of others, I really feel for me, has been all about giving others the tools that they need in order to learn Drupal and be effective in it. I get a lot out of knowing that I can help shape someone's initial experience with Drupal and set them up for a path of success. And then hopefully continue that too and share insights and encourage others to do the same. That's really a chance to reach out and improve the lives of human beings all over the place and in ways that you don't necessarily know, especially when you're dealing in a distributed community, be that code that you're writing or presentations you're giving and posted up on YouTube or you know slides or whatever. You don't even know how many people you're affecting. I've had people come back to me that I haven't known personally up until the point in which they introduced themselves to me and had them say, wow, that thing you wrote or that thing you did or that thing you produced or that thing you shared was amazing for me. It gave me these opportunities because I was able to pick that up and use it myself. But those experiences stand out to me and have been just so, so gratifying every time they've happened. I just want to use the spirit beyond Drupal to change the world. And I think that Drupal is the best way for me to achieve of objective that I want. First is to, to fight against poverty because in my country, jobless is the, the principal problem. People don't have training and a, a capacity to do job. So they prefer to go away to look for other things in other countries. So I see that uh, and I, if I have a change, I have uh, an opportunity. In my opinion, it's, it will be better that we create a situation in our country in order to, to let people stay here, but also to give them a solution to their problem. You cannot say to people to stay even if you have no solution to give them in order to bring them out of poverty and to permit them to grow. That is uh, my motivation. To tell to the young people in my country that we can train them to give them a possibility to have a job. And this will change their life. And if we train them in, in using Drupal, they will have a, a way to find, the, to earn their life. This is uh, my, my kind of contribution to change the world. I love to work in Drupal to get deep into the code and find out why something is not working or why something is working the way it is working. That was one of the feedback given to me as well, that now that you're growing in the hierarchy, you need to get away a bit from the code. But that's something I'm not able to do. I love the community of Drupal. Just meeting the people and getting the vibe of those people, that's just something else. We've always said that for Drupal, you come for the code, but you stay for the community. And how will the community be stronger so until you go ahead and try to contribute? And contribution can be in many ways. If everybody thought that, okay, let me just use the software and not try and improve it. How will the software improve? Even if somebody sees a bug and goes ahead and reports the bug, that is some sort of 
contribution and because that person found the bug and the second person fixed the bug now the whole drupal is much better for tens of thousands of people to use i would think it's fair that if you are using something for free specifically and if you are gaining something out of it why not give something back as well that should be the spirit back up and migrate very much came out of a scratch my own itch kind of situation that became the module uh, which i created for drupal 47 i believe and then from there it just kind of snowballed other people had the same need and they started requesting features and the features grew and the downloads came it has reached i think over 2 million downloads turned from a need i had to a need other people had and it sort of fulfilled my need to build software for other people which has always been a great joy of mine that's been the main reward for me is to get the feedback from people people who liked it people who even people who don't just to see that people are using it to know that something i did uh, had a direct impact on a lot of other people which is usually rewarding to me and to meet people at conferences and to to have to see their face when they you know find out that i built back up and migrate and to have them like spontaneously give you a hug or want to take take their picture with you or something it's really pretty cool to see that something so simple can be so meaningful to other people my career has changed massively i got an employer after the two weeks of the beer apprenticeship once you're in this kind of industry it's hard to fall out of the work for example linkedin offers come up every day that would be an eye opener to me to see that there is so much demand for drupal out there at the moment i'm i'm planning my whole future based on drupal i'm starting to plan looking at buying houses and stuff but the exciting thing for me is that i know that it's totally achievable by the time i'm 30 say you know i'm only 20 now so I tell anyone that even considers the Drupal industry there's so many opportunities for example myself I've come a very long way from a drop out of college not having very much to go on not really being sure what direction to go to be somewhere like this now I feel extremely privileged we are changing lives for the better we are seeing young people be able to improve their lives and to improve their confidence and improve their sense of themselves and their own well-being that's a massive difference that's a massive impact and that is one of the things that really drives me and motivates me to to make this project a su success because we need to do this right uh, when i met up with jack uh, a couple of months ago when i was down in london I met up with him for a little while and just to to meet him a year or so on from from leaving the scheme and doing really really well that I think is is more of a reward that's the impact there are a lot of people who are unnecessarily excluded from starting a career in web development and I'm very pleased to be part of a solution and filling that skills gap encouraging more and more young people to to take this up as a, as a career I think that's a a good thing to be doing